Uh, but let's uh, talk about the big boy, HDFC Bank. That will be reporting its Q1 numbers on Monday. Abhishek is here with the key expectations. Abhishek, we've anyway got a sneak peek, right? What uh, They've announced their provisional update. So what's the street expecting? Uh, well, the street is anticipating the profit growth of the standalone bank on a YOY basis to be the best in last 14 quarters. As you mentioned, the uh, you know business card is already there. In terms of the merged numbers of SDFC Bank and SDFC Limited, uh, deposits are up 16.2% YOY and about 1.2% sequentially. Advances are up a little more than 13% YOY and about 0.7% sequentially. On a standalone basis, the deposits are up 19.2% YOY and about 1.6% uh, sequentially. The car Asa ratio is at 11 quarter low. Advances growth of 0.9% quarter quarter is perhaps a 26 quarter low in terms of the growth rate. And CD ratio, that is credit to deposit ratio at 84.5% is perhaps at a 12 quarter low. To watch out for the net interest margin uh, will be the key factor. It may remain stable or decline marginally as per analyst estimate. Uh, Kotex Securities estimates slippage of less than 2% and uh, you know recoveries to aid in asset quality remaining stable or improved on a sequential basis. Kotex Securities also estimates operating profit growth of 16.5% YOY and down about 4% sequentially. OPEX has been high for SDFC Bank as they have been doing a branch expansion which is uh, eating into OPEX. Uh, credit costs to remain stable or under control and asset quality to remain stable or improve on a sequential basis. SDFC Bank has one of the best asset quality amongst uh, large banks in terms of the private sector space. So our poll of the standalone bank suggest an ag growth of 22.8% YOY and about 2.5% sequentially. We are working with a profit growth of 24.3% YOY which is at a 14 quarter high in terms of the growth rate while it can decline by 5.1% on a sequential basis. Back to you. Thank you for that and as we slip into a break here.